During Jesus' ministry, he taught in public places, performed many miracles, and proclaimed God's truth with great power and conviction. Many came to listen to his teachings, and many people loved him, but others hated him. Some understood his power and wisdom, but were troubled because it clashed with their traditions. This was true for a man named Nicodemus. Nicodemus was a ruler of the Jewish people, and he was a Pharisee. The Pharisees were a part of the religious leadership of the day. Many of them thought God would only accept them if they did all the right things. But no one can obey perfectly. That's why we need Jesus. Nicodemus wanted to speak to Jesus, but because he was a Pharisee and most Pharisees didn't agree with Jesus' teaching, he had to be careful not to be seen with Jesus in broad daylight. So, late one night, guided by the light of the stars and moon, Nicodemus found his way through the dark streets of the city to the place where Jesus was staying. He had a lot of questions about the law, about Jesus' teaching, and about Jesus himself. Jesus was ready to explain to Nicodemus everything he needed to know, and that night, Nicodemus would leave a changed man. Jesus explained to Nicodemus that he could not be part of God's kingdom unless he was born again. This really confused Nicodemus. It's impossible for a grown man to become a baby and be born again, he said. But Jesus wasn't talking about becoming an actual baby. He was talking about a life change so dramatic, so radical, so new, that it would be like being born again. Unless one is born of water and the Spirit, Jesus explained, he could not enter the kingdom of heaven. Nicodemus tried hard to wrap his mind around what Jesus was saying to him. Jesus knew that Nicodemus was having a hard time believing him, so he said, if you're having a hard time believing earthly things, it will be very hard for you to believe heavenly things. But you must believe that I am the Messiah. I have come to give people eternal life. Now Nicodemus was beginning to understand. Jesus was the Messiah, the one he had been waiting for, and Jesus' mission was to give new life. Jesus went on to say, for God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Jesus also told Nicodemus that he didn't come to condemn the world, but the world would be saved through him. That day, Nicodemus learned about God's love and about eternal life. He believed and found his place in the kingdom of God. The end.